Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate this memorial of the Korean martyrs, St. Andrew Kim Tae Gon and St. Paul Chong Hasong, and other companions, about 103, if I remember correctly, in total. And for this morning's Office of Readings, we read from St. Andrew's letter to the faithful. And one thing that really stands out in this letter that he wrote is how he is so filled with faith, right? He is a man that has supernatural knowledge, light, and insight given him from above. And this is what provides him with the strength uh, to go through with martyrdom and also to encourage others as well to persevere in their great difficulties. And so he begins this letter by saying, My brothers and sisters, my dearest friends, think again and again on this. God has ruled over all things in heaven and on earth from the beginning of time. And so he's going to talk to them about God's providence. Now, we are blessed, really, to know that we are not at the mercy of blind forces, the blind forces of nature, but that we have a loving Father who is in control of everything. That's what he's getting at here. God has ruled over all things in heaven and on earth from the beginning of time. He goes on to say, As the scriptures say, God numbers the very hairs on our head. Right? So you're in a position now where you're approaching martyrdom. Do you think God has somehow forgotten about you? If he numbers all of the hairs of your head, how about your very life? We know that our Lord teaches this. St. Paul says, as the scriptures say. Our Lord talks about God's loving providence in Matthew chapter 6. And in his all-embracing providence, he has care over us all. Persecution, therefore, can only be regarded as the command of the Lord. That is something willed or permitted by God. And he says the reason why. Either as a prize he gives or as a punishment he permits. And in fact, in the first reading of today's Office of Readings was from the prophet Ezekiel. And he was talking about how this exile of the people of God into Babylon was in fact a punishment, a just punishment for their infidelity. And so when persecution comes around, St. Andrew is basically saying, examine your conscience. This may be a just punishment that God is permitting for your correction, as the scripture says over and over again. That too is found there. But he also says maybe it's a prize that he has given you. If you're a faithful soul and you're suffering persecution, this is going to do nothing other than increase God's glory and your own, increasing your merits for which you will be crowned for all eternity. So this is a man of faith who knows how to see these difficulties and these gravest difficulties of life, persecution for the faith and the prospects of death as either a prize from God or a punishment that he permits for their correction. And so he concludes by saying, Stand fast until the Lord mercifully delivers us from our trials, either by death, and then he will bring us into heaven, or by granting us our freedom. And so all of this, again, can be apply to each and every one of our lives because we may not deal with a direct persecution and the threat of death, but difficulties are out there in all kinds of forms. And so we need to view everything through the eyes of faith, God's providence. He is in charge and in control of everything. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.